First up, he is the former Democratic governor of Virginia and author of the New York Times bestselling book, Beyond Charlottesville, Taking a Stand Against White Nationalism, Terry McAuliffe. Yeah. Terry McAuliffe. Yeah. How are you, Governor? Good to see you. How are you? Great. All right. So you're very apropos for this week. You're talking about Charlottesville was almost exactly two years ago. Is that right, August? Two years ago, Monday. Right. Okay, so... Uh, what, what happened in Charlottesville was they were out loud and proud. They came out of the shadows. You bet. Right? Came we, out from under the rocks. No masks. Right. <laughs> no masks, yep. right? These were office park Nazis. Yep. Okay, some of them got in trouble for that. Yep. Now it seems they've gone back underground. Which is better, to have them out in the open or in the shadows? Uh, out in the open, get them exposed. Friday night, if you remember, they came out on the grounds of the University of Virginia. Right. Hundreds with their torches marching onto the campus screaming, Jews, you will not replace us, blood and soil. A lot of what you heard in 1933, 1934, Nazi right. Germany. And then Saturday, a thousand neo-Nazis, white supremacists, their swastikas, Adolf Hitler ideology, and just the most vile things I've ever heard in my life. So if, if Trump is a white nationalist, as a lot of people are saying, and he has a 42% approval rating, what does that say to you? Uh, it's not a good place for our country to be in. I mean, I wrote this book. I called him out that... <laughs> I called him out that day. Uh, he came out as a full-fledged racist and white nationalist during Charlottesville. I talked to him that day. I told the president what was happening. I begged him to come out. This was his opportunity to heal the nation. He didn't. He came out and said there were good people on both sides. Bill, there were not good people on the neo-Nazi and white supremacist side. <laughs> well, I think we could all agree on that. <laughs> good. But, Except for Trump. Yes. I mean, he refused to do it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you think this next election is going to be on the up and up? Oh, I'm very concerned. Russia is going to be as active as they've ever been. You know, bills introduced in Congress. Mitch McConnell won't bring them up. Oh, I'm very concerned. I mean, I can tell you, in Virginia, while I was governor, I had to replace all the machines. Because I remember when I first voted, when I went to Richmond, moved down as governor, I remember I kept voting in the Senate race, kept voting for the Democrat. Republican name kept coming up. Three times that happened. What do you mean, kept coming up? So, I, you know, we had the touch screens. I was voting for Mark Warner, our senator, and Ed Gillespie's name would light up. Happened to me three times. Finally, the fourth time, Mark name, and I quickly hit vote, and I got out of there. You know, all the cameras are looking at me like, this guy doesn't know how to vote. I mean, what's going on? So then I had an investigation done, and listen to this. I brought in some technology experts. They were able to hack into our machines from off-site in about five or six minutes, and yeah. within four minutes, they were able to change a vote. I decertified all the machines. Now in Virginia, we have paper ballots. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. So, how do you handicap this race so far? I mean, obviously, the Democratic Party, which you've been a part of and influential yep. in for a very long time, yep. they're having a fight, as parties do, between the left and yep. the center. What is going to carry the day in this election? First of all, I'm confident we're going to beat Trump. I mean, I remember we lost three well, states. Well, don't say that. No, but I'm confident. Yeah, we were confident last time. It's not a good thing well, to say. Well, not as confident, but listen, mm. three states we lost by I'm seven. not confident we're going to beat Trump, so you better fucking well, be not confident. Sorry, I'm a, but... I'm a glass overflowing guy. But we lost yeah. three states well, by 77,000 no, votes. 92 million people did not vote. Okay. We got to get them out. We got to fire them up. We got to win those Well, states. then don't tell them it's going to go good. Senate. All right, we got to do it. <laughs> But on the Democrats... But, okay, so what do you think? Centrist or... The, are you for Medicare for all? Or are you for uh, expanding yeah. Obamacare? And, and I hate these labels. As governor, you know, I inherited... Well, that's a policy. Got well, things done. Created the record okay. jobs. Well, but and, that's policy. Medicare yeah. for all or yeah. Obamacare? Obamacare. Okay. Fix what, so fix that's what the we have. Land. Take it to the next level. Right. Don't scare people with socialism. No, but, but the idea you're right. attacking Joe Biden for President Obama's policies, who is one well, of our most popular presidents, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That is a dumb strategy. So are you for Biden? Is that who you're, your person? Listen, is? I love them all. I've known the vice president the longest. Uh, I think he's got a great message. I think he has the best chance of beating Trump. But, I mean, this week he said a couple of things that... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know he doesn't mean it. Yeah. You know, he said something about... Uh, P poor kids are just as smart as white kids. Yeah. And then he said, uh, we believe in, in facts, not truth. Truth, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, truth I, over facts. 
<laughs> there's going to be some senior moments. Yes. With Joe Biden, right? Don't don't we just have to get used to that? That there is. Yeah. I, do you think it? Uh, now, and people are going to try to link that to like, can he actually do the job? Yeah. I don't think there is a realistic link there. I don't think he's about to push the button, or he thinks he's moving the remote and he blows up Russia. I I, I don't. Yeah. I don't. Right. And a guy who but, has lied, just, just certified, 10,000 times since he's been in office? You're going to talk to me about Joe Biden? You got Trump out there every single day and right. can't tell the truth? I mean, come on. But I'm just saying. I'll take we, that battle any day of the week. We need to just... Right? We're with that? They're with us right. here. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not with you here, yeah. you're in trouble, I Governor. I I mean, of course <laughs> you do. But I'm just saying, we, we need to get used to the fact that if he's the nominee... Yeah. There's going to be some senior moments, and we can't lose our shit every time there's one. I agree. Okay, great. Yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I it. it was a two-hour so, speech, I guess, in, in Iowa the other day, and he made one or two small mistakes. Because right. the bigger issue, we're running against Trump. I mean, people got to keep their eye on the ball. The one thing in these debates, though, Bill, I got to tell you, you know, I, I hate the back and forth, the negativity. We need some joyful warriors out there. But we got to start talking about issues that the public cares about. Lower prescription drug costs. I haven't heard K-12. I haven't heard infrastructure. I haven't heard cybersecurity. I haven't heard workforce training. People at home want us to talk right. to them about the issues You're so that right. matter. You're yeah. so right. So, um, and, you know, we haven't seen much of Obama, which I think is good. Because, you know, that's our big secret weapon, I think, at the end of the race. People don't really pay attention yeah. until after Halloween of next year. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. And let's yep. throw Michelle in there, too. Yeah, okay. and, her, and Michelle, <laughs> yes. No, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more so. The other big weapon we used to have is your boy Bill Clinton. Yeah. But he can't do it now because we forgave him for 20 years, and then I never saw this, we unforgave him. <laughs> it was like, you're forgiven? Oh, no, we forgot we hate you again. What? <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's looking pretty smart now on the assault weapon ban he did in 1994. Right, How about exactly. That? Yeah. So. But, and now it's coming back. It's back in vogue. I mean, you looked at mass shootings when that passed in 1994, and then Bush let it expire. Mass shootings went back up again. You know, there were some good things. I mean, this gun control, it is out of control. So, how are the Clintons doing? You're oh, close yeah. with them. Are they doing okay? Yeah, sure. I mean, they're, you know, they both have had spectacular lives. I mean, he was a great president, left with the highest appro to approval rate of any two-term president. You know, neither one of them ever did this show. Well, that was a mistake. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Governor! Governor Terry McCullough. That's all I wanted to hear.